The year was 1999. The location, Mesa. Mikkel Biggs was just 11 years old. Her sister, Kimber, 9. She was out riding my bike. She was out on the, you know, the corner of the T in the road, and she was waiting for the ice cream truck. And I got cold, went inside, turned around, walked back out, and walked to the end of the driveway. And by that point, she was already gone. And that's when I saw my bike laying in the road. This was the corner where Mikkel was last seen alive. Police stopping and talking to everyone. We'd love to be able to find this little girl. There was a massive search. Police blocking off streets. Hundreds of people questioned, but Mikkel was never found. Cases like this, people don't forget. You don't forget an 11-year-old being abducted. Over the years, police have looked into hundreds, if not thousands, of tips. But nothing panned out. The case grew cold. There's a whole piece of our lives that was literally taken from us. Last March, this showed up in Wisconsin. A dollar bill with this message written on it. My name is Mikkel Biggs, kidnapped from Mesa, Arizona. I'm alive. It was not something that I would have expected to come about. You know, when you think a tip is going to come in, you think it's going to be a person. Being able to pull a specific uh, fingerprint or something off of that obviously can be very problematic. Mikkel's name is misspelled. The dollar is from 2009, 10 years after she was abducted. And for that reason, police believe this is probably a prank. In my head, I think, well, how did she get a dollar bill 10 years after she was taken? And how did she get it back out into, you know, circulation? Now, nearly two decades later, police believe this is what Mikkel would look like today. Police have Kimber reenact everything she did within the time period her sister went missing. We had her do what she said she did and timed it, had her go back into the home, talked to Tracy in the home, and then turned around and walked back out. And it came out to about 90 seconds. That makes you sit back and wonder how is that even possible? circumstances of her disappearance just like that on her street near her home with all of her neighbors and friends around her and suddenly she vanishes and was it just that the bad guy drove through in that 90 second window sort of defies plausibility Kimber, now a mom herself and more protective when it comes to her son. She feels empowered to raise awareness about missing children and her sister, who she believes is no longer here, but rather an angel above. It really wasn't until I saw my son react to her picture. For the first time seeing it, it was, it was like he knew her. He recognized her. Not a day goes by when Kimber doesn't think of her sister and wonder what happened on this corner. I'm trying very hard to, you know, keep her name out there, and I'm trying really hard to, you know, put on a brave face. Believing one day her family will find out. Until then, Kimber won't stop telling this story.